So I decided enough was enough and I sent this board out to be manufactured. Um, I just kind of cut my losses. <laughs> I wanted to have something that I could play with uh, and I can always add boards to this. Since audio processing is kind of a linear chain, you can always add things to it. So I thought I would start with this and play with some concepts that I had. Um, first of all, it starts with a microphone preamp. Uh, I showed this before, but this is the final version. Um, let's see, I've got a INA217 and I was very, very lazy. The I-17A is not in the library, but a dual op amp package is in the library. So I used the dual op amp package um, and here's the two op amps and I wired it up like it's an INA217, but it looks really, really bizarre if you just treat it as two op amps. I think that makes sense. Anyway, I just needed a, an eight pin dip and I just needed to put wires onto an eight pin dip and this is what I did. So just kind of a really, really lazy way to do things. Um, so I have a connector up at the top here where a 48 volt comes into the board. I'll have to generate that someplace else. The 48 volts comes in. Um, it gets uh, buffered a bit so it's less noisy and that's used as the phantom power. And this circuit is the same as the one I built for the uh, uh, audio buddy. A bunch of bypass caps that I'll use other places. Okay, so let's look at the uh, power supply section. I decided to add a little connector here so you can uh, have test points. So you can find minus 15 and plus 15 test points just to measure them. And then this is just a real standard circuit, AC coming in and uh, plus and minus 15 coming out. Uh, so that's all there is to it. I added some LEDs so that they'll light up when you have power. Okay, so the output of the 217 goes into the next stage, and the next stage is here. And these are two filters. Uh, the top filter is a 80 hertz high pass, and the bottom filter is a 160 hertz high pass. And then there's a little jumper area, so if you put the jumper across pins two and three, um, it bypasses all these circuits. If you put the jumper between two and one, you get an 80 hertz filter. And if you put the jumper over here, uh, you get the 160 filter. So um, that's the way that works. And then there's a little low pass filter here that rolls it off around 130 kilohertz. Then it goes into the next stage. And the next stage will be the um, high, mid, low um, EQ section. So uh, I showed the, showed the modeling of that section. And again, there's a jumper to either use that section or bypass that section. And then I uh, added a little section here, untested. So this will be uh, this will be interesting to see if it works or not. So I'm interested in a, a noise clipper. So when you're not speaking, um, the output is just amplifying noise. And it's nice to just clip that. And, and so you have a perfect silence when you're not talking. And the way I'm going to do that is the signal comes in and goes through a resistor. And then there's a FET to ground. So if you turn that FET on, then it, it shorts out the output and you have no noise. Uh, you have no, no audio. And you can have just a hard clip or you I uh, put in a resistor here. So you can put in a ratio. You can say, okay, when the transistor's on, I've got a resistive divider between these two. So if you have a 100K here and 100K here, you have half the voltage coming out. Or if you have 10K here, you have one tenth of the voltage coming through. So anyway, it's a way to kind of soften up that, uh, that clipping feature. And when do you know to clip? Well, uh, I've added a uh, ideal a rectifier here, so a perfect diode. And that's gonna go into charging up a capacitor. So there's an RC here, that's the uh, charge. So this is the attack time. Uh, R29 is going to be the attack, and then R30 is the release, so uh, it's how fast the capacitor bleeds off, so attack and release is here. And then there'll be a threshold of where, where do you, what do you call silence? Um, and so this is the threshold, so this, this circuit should act as a, um, as a clipper. Uh, the funny thing about, I'm using a, a a LM339 comparator here. It's a quad comparator, so I'm going to use it down here as well. But this quad comparator is a bit funny. You can run it off of plus and minus 15 volts. 
Um, but um, it has an open collector output. Uh, so you can have the output do anything. Uh, but it's not driving, it, it, it's not going to be driving any voltage up and down. It's just going to be turning on a transistor to ground. So the way I'm using that is I have a pull-up resistor, so when it's not conducting, it's high, and when it is conducting, it's low. And I have an LED here, so if it's, if it's in its high state, the LED is on, and if it's in its low state, the LED is off. If it's in its high state, the transistor is on, and if it's in its low state, the uh, transistor is off. And I'm using a 2N7000, because I have some. Uh, they're just a little TO92. Um, and channel MOSFET. So, and then because I had some leftover gates on the LM339, I decided to put in a uh, a, uh, a VU meter, a VI meter. It's a, a, a loudness meter. Make sure you're not clipping. So you could have like this LED red, and this LED yellow, and this LED green, uh, and it would tell you whether you're in the good range or the bad range. And then there's a little. Uh, voltage divider out here to set the uh, comparator voltages. I haven't calculated those yet to what I want, but there's, so these are just placeholders. So that's what I decided on. That's what I said, okay, let's go ahead and pull the trigger and, and build this board. And this is what it looks like. Um, we've seen most of this before. Uh, the LM, I mean, the INA217 is, is down here at the bottom. Um, this section right here is a, uh, the 80 hertz one, 60 hertz, since it's a dual op amp, it does both. Um, up at the, uh, let's see here, how does this, yeah, this section here, this middle section here is the EQ section, so high, mid, and low uh, potentiometers. And then up at the top is the comparator and a little IC6 over here. So this is the clipping circuit. Um, let's see, here's, here's my uh, N-channel uh, MOSFET. So that this is the clipping. And uh, the, the little LED is right next to it, so you, you know whether it's on or off. And the power supply section is down here in the right. And uh, yeah. And I added a little prototyping area up here in case I wanted to add a few things. It's not a very big prototyping area, but I just threw it in for fun. And then the thing will have um, a ground plane on both sides. It'll have a ground plane on the top side, and it'll have a ground plane on the bottom side, so lots of grounds. Hopefully keep the noise away. And uh, what else can I say about it? I, I put the voltage regulators on the edge of the board vertically so they can be attached to a heat sink if needed. Um, and uh, 15 plus minus 15 volts. And yeah, so I've sent that out to uh, a PC manufacturer and should be getting it uh, within a week.